Do you want to know how to make a post like this in Canva? Stick around and let me show you how. Let me just move this over to the side. Here we are in Canva. We have a new blank document. It is 1080 by 1080. And the first thing we're going to do is bring in our product. So I'm going to bring in my orange juice here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to use the photo colors based on this image. So I'm going to add a square, not a rounded square, a normal square. And I'm going to use it to cover the background. Using control and the left bracket key, I'm going to send this all the way to the back. Then I can go to colors and select the photo color. Now that I have the photo color selected, I want to create maybe a little bit of a more saturated shade of it. Just like that, kind of bring this in a bit. Perfect. Now that I have this, I also want to create um, a floor here for the reflection of the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my product. Then I'm going to add another square. Just connect it to the bottom like this. Change the color of it to match that of the current background. But I just want to go ahead and just darken it a little bit. Just ever so slightly like this. Now, I also need to get rid of this sharp line, so I'm going to go ahead and search for blur under the element section, add this blur here, and I'm going to change the color of it to match the floor. Now that we have this, using Ctrl D, sorry, using Ctrl D, keep duplicating the blur until it covers off the entire background. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and bring our product back in. I want it to be about this height and about this big. Then I'm going to use Ctrl D to duplicate it, then flip it vertically and bring it down like this. Ctrl left bracket key to send it to the back and then lower the transparency. Perfect. Now, the other thing that we want to do is to now bring in, let's bring in the oranges first. So here are my oranges. I just want to make it a bit bigger like this. Then I want to send it behind my bottle. Also flip, well, no, no, let's not flip it yet. Let's um, blur it first. So we need to add some dimension to this. So by blurring the orange, we now have a separation between the foreground and the background. So here's our orange in the background here. And now we need to go ahead and add in our splashes. So we have two splashes. We have this one and this one. I want to use um, the first part of this one. So I'm going to send it to back and then crop it like this. Then I want to flip this one vertical and flip it horizontal as well. Place it here, rotate it just a bit. Send it behind the bottle and also, oops, sorry. And also crop its edges. Good, looking good so far. Now we need to add our orange slice. So let me just bring that in. I want it to be um, on top of the splash, but behind the product. Duplicate this and do the same thing on top of the splash, behind the product, and just be a bit smaller. Okay, that's looking good. Let's also add a drop shadow by going to edit, shadows, drop, 
click on the shadow again and reduce the transparency to let's say 37 do the same for the other one edit drop shadow transparency to 37 perfect now that we have that um, I think I want to make the splashes a little bit more vibrant so I'm going to select it go to edit image expand adjust and change the tint of it to be a bit more orange like this and increase the saturation so tint of minus 72 and saturation of 21 we're going to do that to the same thing here so minus 72 tint saturation of 21 uh, maybe 21 is too much for this um, let's leave it at oh, 13 is good all right perfect good we're looking good so far now we need to add something all the way to the front well actually let me increase the saturation of the bottle a bit as well so I'm just going to bring that up and maybe brighten it yeah that looks good so right now to, to kind of finish this off we're gonna bring back our orange slice here we can put one here just a bit like this maybe make it come out like that and then we need to go to edit and blur it just like that so just imagine that you have something in front of your camera and it would be really really blurred out if you're taking picture of something that is maybe sitting on a table so that's the kind of effect that you need to have here and you can just add this blur like to different parts of your photo and that is looking good you can honestly stop there if you want but we're going to add um, a title to this and a little bit of note here because for orange juice people like to know that it is 100% natural so you kind of want to show that um, in your product uh, as far as this goes so first let's add a title go to text add a heading let's call this fresh bring it to the top we're changing the color to white and the font which font should we use Shrikland this one looks good so here we have our font we also want to add a stroke to it in this case I think in Canva it's called outline so with the text selected go to effects then select outline increase the thickness to about that and then we want to change the color so select the color um, square here under document colors select add a new color choose the eyedropper tool and we're going to choose from this orange that may be a bit too much so just lower it as you see fit um, yeah that's fine maybe add a little bit of yellow into it ah there we go that's looking better now for the 100% natural I'm going to go ahead and bring in um, let's bring in a rounded corner rectangle and we're going to choose one of the colors from this orange tree here so go to color and under photo colors select the one that you want and now we need to add the text so a subheading is going to be 100 percent natural all right uh, let's make this a bit smaller and let's decrease the line spacing and change the font to xmr bold that's looking better alright that's looking good that look like something you can go post on your Instagram page 
Um, to kind of finish this off though, we're going to also add our website. So www.imaginedigitalstore.com. I'm going to bring this down to the bottom here. I also want to make it flush to the edges. So like that is good. And I can make it, um, let's change the color to something like that. i make it orange. Hmm. Yeah, let's make it like this and just decrease the transparency. All right, I don't think it looks good flush to the corner. So let's bring it back in like this. Maybe if we change the font, we'll see it a bit different. Hmm. I don't know which one I like. Yeah, let's just keep it like that. But you get to get the gist of you know where we're going, and that is how you can create um, a really nice post for you know your product in Canva. If you're not already subscribed, please please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow it. Um, I'm going to be creating a lot of different. Um, innovative art like this using canva using the free version of canva later on i can start using the pro but for now i want anyone to be able to create whatever they see me make in canva so i'll be only using the elements that are available to everyone leave a comment if you want to ask me anything if you want me to go over anything or if you want me to make anything specific for you I can make it and post it on my channel as well. So thank you for watching. Do remember to like the video, share it with your friend, who knows, maybe they would learn something from this as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.